Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brittany. I'm really excited for today's chocolate bonbon design. Since next week is the 4th of July here in the US, I thought I'd do something a little bit patriotic with red, white, and blue. Of course, you can use this exact same design with whatever colors that you'd like. So for today's bonbons, I used a technique that I haven't seen anybody doing. I don't know why, because it's really fun. I got the idea from a post that I saw on Instagram by Artisan Chocolatier. It looks like this, but she posted about using a milk frother to add color into a chocolate mold. And I was intrigued by it, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to try it today. So credit goes to her, and if you guys want to, you can go follow her. She does really fun and creative and unique things with chocolate on her account. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. We're using a milk frother to create this bonbon design. And not only does it turn out really nice and clean, it's also fun to do. And just like all decorating techniques, you can use it in different ways to get different results. So let's get started. Here are the supplies that you'll need. Today I'll use Chef Rubber Retro Red, Alabaster White, and Regal Blue pre-colored cocoa butters some edible gold or silver luster dust. I use PCB edible gold, a milk frother. I will link this exact one down below, a large soft round paintbrush, a half sphere polycarbonate mold. I'll put some recommendations in the description. Now, just a quick note about cocoa butter. If you're new to things, this might help you out. So most cocoa butter colors come a little bit translucent, uh, meaning you can see light through them, or if you put a background color, it's going to affect the color in the front. So if I put red color in my mold and it is just a regular cocoa butter, um, and I put a dark blue behind it, it most likely will turn where I put the red a little bit purple. Um, depending on how many layers and how much you use. If you, if you put red and then add white, it will keep the red true to color, and then you can add any color background without changing it. You can also have colors that have white already in them, so those colors will stay true no matter what background color you put. So, the colors that I usually use by Chef Rubber it is the Artisan collection and they already contain white. So you can count on them to wherever you put the color, it's going to stay the same. Otherwise you have to kind of plan ahead so that you know how the color will be affected with the other colors that you're applying to the mold. So in today's video, I use red and then I put white behind and then I do a blue, dark blue background. Um, because I'm putting white, in basically the same spot as the red, you probably can get away with using just a regular red without white added into it. But just so you know, mine does have white in it. And then I also add white behind it before I do the blue background. Hopefully that all makes sense. Let me know if you have questions about this. To get started, you probably already know the drill. You're going to first shine up your mold with a cotton ball. Next, you will temper your cocoa butters. If you need help with this, I have a video. Check this card or the description box. To make my design, I dip the milk frother into the red first. I give it one quick spin to get off any excess cocoa butter. And then I spin it into the mold, starting at the top and moving it down into the mold. I love how this looks because it creates a cool stripe at the top and then little dots that kind of get gradually smaller as you go down. One thing to really be careful of when using this technique is staying centered and not moving down into the mold too far or else you will nick the mold and that can cause scratches on the mold, which you don't want, of course. Thank you. 
I wanted some of these to be a bit darker and I was also playing around with multiple stripes on some of the molds. So I went in for a second coating right here. Give the mold a wipe on a paper towel to keep the surface of it clean. Now I just do the same process with my white cocoa butter. I mostly follow the exact same pattern that I did with the red, but I did add more cocoa butter into each cavity so that the red would really pop. If you're wondering what the design looks like without giving the frother a spin after dipping <laughs> and before applying it to the mold, watch this second cavity. It ends up with too much cocoa butter and drips down into the mold, which could be a cool design for something else, just not what I was going for here. So I did find that the method that worked well for me was to dip the frother into the cocoa butter once and give it just a quick spin in the container before moving in and decorating the mold. And if it wasn't as much as I'd like, I just do multiple coats. And now I've got my tempered blue cocoa butter and just to give it a little sparkle, I pour a smaller portion into a small bowl and add one mini spoonful of edible gold luster dust. Now I add the background by dipping my large soft round brush about halfway into the blue, knocking the excess off and then apply a thin coat to the mold by swirling the brush around the edges and down into the center. Because the blue color is pretty dark and it does also contain white, I don't need this cocoa butter layer to be too thick. So I just apply one coat before shelling the chocolates in milk chocolate. Sadly, I've run out of time to create 4th of July chocolates to sell, 
So I only made this design for the video and I didn't fill or finish them, but I did a poll on Instagram for flavors that remind people of the 4th of July and I got some really good filling ideas for you. So you could do flavors like s'mores, strawberry shortcake, kettle corn, root beer float, apple pie, cotton candy, peach, popsicle, watermelon, and cherry. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you learned something new. Let me know down in the comments if you have ever seen a bonbon decorated with a milk frother before. And please give the video a like if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, today's the day. If you'd like to see something else that's sweet, just click on one of these thumbnails. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you soon. Bye.